All right, guys. Leaving the hotel. And wait, do I go here? But Santa Cruz. All right, so we go this way. I didn't know. Oh. All right. Well. So we're really at the edge of the lake, Lake Atalin. And we're walking to the nearby village of Santa Cruz, which is the only walkable uh, village from here at the hotel I'm staying at. The rest, you have to take the boat to each village. And you can actually take the boat to Santa Cruz because that's the only way you can get access to Santa Cruz is by a boat. But since I'm staying at this hotel, I can walk. I'm already kind of hot, so I think I need to take off my jacket. But let's just enjoy the serenity of Lake Atalan. Atilan, La Laguna de Atilan. And you gotta watch your step, obviously. But I like that it's like a trail, so you kind of can't get lost. Little bridges to cross. I'm trying to pace myself because I don't want to rush. Oh, wow. Oh, just to lay here and enjoy the sounds. And I guess since we're walking to Santa Cruz, I should tell you a little bit about it. Uh, Santa Cruz is a very small village between J, B J Balito. I don't even know if I'm saying these towns, excuse me, these villages names correct. So please bear with me. <laughs> And don't judge me. I'm um, seeing all this for the first time as well, but I like to research, of course, and see what I can find out about wherever I'm going. So then I can share it with you guys. But yeah, Santa Cruz is a small village in between, or rather between J Balito and San Marcos villages here in Lake Atilan. And as I told you earlier, it could only be reached by the boat or if you're staying where I'm staying, which is right there. Laguna Lodge Eco Resort. And then you just walk along the edges and you come this way. So those are the two ways to get to Santa Cruz. And there's actually two parts of Santa Cruz. I've heard that as soon as you step off the boat, you'll find yourself in the quote-unquote tourist section of Santa Cruz. And wait, let me make sure. Watching my step. <laughs> so right there at the dock, there's little tiendas and tuk-tuks filling up the road. Oh wow, I gotta climb all this? Well damn. Jeez. And apparently there's one road leading up to the local hilltop village. And they say if you walk up the road about 15 minutes, you'll be in the real local area and seeing traditional Mayan homes and stuff like that. So I'm excited to explore Santa Cruz with you guys. I'm already out of breath. This is something else. What an experience though, like I've never experienced anything like this. Look at this.
This is your backdrop as you walk up these rocks. I don't know if you hear the boats, but that's what that loud banging kind of sound is. The boats going up and down on the waves or hitting the waves, I should say. I feel like those kids in those movies when they're like, are we there yet? I just want to show you what I'm seeing. I want you guys to see it too. Oh man, this is beautiful. Wow. All right, still walking. Uh, yeah, we must be near it because I'm seeing houses up top. So this is the dock area for Santa Cruz. Tuk Tuk's, I guess if you want to take it up to the hilltop which we should probably do that because I don't know how it said it was a 15 minute walk but who knows got a little store let me get water because I'm thirsty still water uh, I don't see water let me go in here I'm sweating, y'all. I don't know if I want to walk up. Para ir arriba. ¿Cuánto? Diez. This is a basketball court. And a beautiful church. Do I go through here? Oh. Gracias. Sounds like they're playing Spanish gospel music. That's 
Jesus Tienda Pizza Hola. Hola. Ya. Uf. Bro. My feet are done. I should have took the tuk tuk all the way up. I'm out of breath. I really should have took the tuk tuk. <clears throat> Yo. Yo, sweat is getting in my eye, bro. That's how hot it is. Imagine if I would have had that coat on. Hola, buen día. I think I reached the top. Oh. There's more. I'm trying to wipe this sweat from my forehead. Oh snap, there's a barber. Hola. I'm not sure why that's smoking either. Bro, look at the fog and the clouds.
I don't know how much more it is, but look at the roofs. It's like this aluminum sheet type of thing. Oh. Wow. Sorry for be breathing so heavy, y'all, but I'm out of breath. Plus, I'm sure the altitude helps with the not being able to breathe. It looks so fake. It looks so fake. All right. Going down shouldn't be that hard. Even though my legs are wobbly now, but it's better than climbing. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, this is more into the town, I guess. All right, guys. Don't know where I'm going, but oh, look at this taco truck. Is this the main road I came up the first time? I think it is. That's on Retante. That's on Tienda. No. No. Si, yo lo vi. Gracias. Uh. 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 Alright, I'm back where I started, but I did see that there was something to go down. Oh, he was telling me there was chicken. That's what I was filming, but you couldn't see it because of the fog. Mules. Respeta. Por... Porque el respetan. I can't see because it's blurred out. But you see Mickey. What's her name? Elsa? Elisa? From Frozen? It says miles de personas han sobrevivido sin amor, pero ninguno sin agua. Cuidémoslas. Okay, so they're saying millions of people have lived without love, but none without water. I'm not sure what that means, but it uh, looks like somebody else is partying all night. And you got uh, 101 Dalmatians, lots of stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
these dogs ain't finna hit me. Hola. Hay un restaurante por aquí para comer un restaurante. Ahí en la esquina. En la esquina. Gracias. Oh. All right, buddy. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> Yo, there's mad dogs. Look, another one right there. It's crazy. All right, he said in the corner there's a restaurant. This is this. Café y restaurante. Está abierto. Está abierto. Oh. Oh no, está cerrado. Oh, gracias. Es automáticamente. Oh, <laughs> gracias. This is the restaurant, but I'm getting my food to go because. And this is the window. So guys, I'm here waiting for my food. And this is the restaurant. The other thing that I was gonna eat, they didn't have rice like I thought. I really wanna know what all this smoke is for. I keep seeing it coming from so many houses. Interesting. But, yeah. So I'm just waiting for my food. I just got chicken and french fries, you know whatever and I'm gonna walk with it to the hotel and eat it over there but not yet oh dear all right guys I got my food and we're gonna walk down this way a little bit why am I still showing you my food I don't think I'm walking all the way down to the dock maybe I can get a tuk-tuk to take me gracias Alright guys, I'm gonna leave you here. This is the end of the walking tour. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next video in Guatemala. Peace.